A major about face from city officials who now say the water at the Jacob Reese houses is safe to drink after a contamination scare that lasted an entire week. Mayor Adams went there trying to reassure residents by having a glass of tap water himself. But as CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports, some people still don't trust the turn of events. Jacob Reese houses residents are reeling from a week of water woes and mixed messages. Told their tap water was contaminated with arsenic. The city now claims that was not true after all. Attempting to demonstrate that it's now okay to turn the tap and drink water from the faucet was Mayor Eric Adams. Nothing is better than New York City water. It is okay to drink the water. Uh, and I want to thank all the city agencies that came together to supply temporary water during the meantime. And uh, we just, you know, here to make sure that people know I'm drinking it. <laughs> you know, the water is safe to drink. The mayor drank some from a faucet in a particular building right behind me, 118. But I'm still not a believer. And it's a little confident. But I'm still a very safeguarded person. The city said it wasn't okay. Now they're saying it is okay. The city testing it, but that does not remove the already mindset of worriness that these residents already have. Who do they trust now? The city released dozens of pages of lab results attempting to explain what went so wrong. The city claims the firm responsible for testing water samples botched the results. This document says the lab introduced the arsenic into testing samples on its own. And here it reads EMT retracts these results. And on this page, initial results were incorrect. A second firm was brought in and now samples tested negative for arsenic. I'm going to wait over a prolonged period of time before I'm really sold on that for myself. I'm a senior. I'm disabled. Saturday afternoon, Dave Braswell was given cases of water and some food. 1,000 sandwiches were donated. As politicians, community activists, and private businesses pitched in to help these residents. People from NYCHA, people from a city council, the district leaders are here, and they're helping the community out, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Several city politicians are calling for a full investigation into this scare they say turned into an unnecessary fiasco. In the East Village, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. As we've been reporting, public advocate Jamani Williams is among those criticizing the way this was handled. He said, quote, NYCHA has again failed a test of its management.